back, Stasa 23 here, back in with some knife therapy, and um, today I'm going to do an unboxing, I don't normally do that, but CRKT had a lot of interesting offerings for 2020, and I decided to pick up two, even though there was a lot of them that I, I liked, but I want to check out how they're doing with their quality so far in 2020, so let's see what I picked up, I picked up the TJ Schwartz Design Thero, and the Richard Rogers Montosa. We'll start with the Thero. Picked up the Thero because I already own the knife that's designed after, and I want to see how they deal with this production model of it. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Here we go. You have some black GFN handles, uh, the same pattern as the original. Stainless liners, GFN backspacer, a regular bent pocket clip, um, jumping on the flipper tab, looks like an aluminum uh, pivot collar on both sides. See, they, they carried the design over on both sides. That That's not done on the original because it's a frame lock. Just half of it. See how this action is. Good action on my particular one you have a full flat grind that's, no, that's another difference pretty comfortable it's, it's 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 a it's a medium to small size knife i guess you could call it 8cr 14 mov and the thero come was let's see the thero was 45 dollars and um, like I said, 8CR14, you have a 7.37 <coughs> inch blade, inch knife with a three inch blade. So this should be legal in a lot of areas. Let's see if you can spidey flick it. Ooh, that detent's really strong. And it definitely feels like um, this is riding on Teflon like they normally do. Yes, it is Teflon, which I don't mind Teflon at all. Um, I like the 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 smoothness it brings just that feeling and this is what is it's going after the um the millet torrent this was a tj this is their tj schwartz collaboration with them so you have a bigger flipper tab which i like the flipper tab more on this one this one it, it kind of hurts my fingers this one you can actually get your finger on there easily do a light switch or a push button and as you can see you got a full flat ground on that one you have a very shallow, um, very minor hollow on this one. Almost feels like a flat, but it's it's a hollow. You have a milled pot clip here, bent pot clip here, and as you can see, the pattern goes this way, but you can't go down this way because of the frame lock, but they just carry it over on this side. There you go. We're gonna talk more about this in the full review. Just wanted to let y'all see it. Not sure how this kind of looks like one of them painted on coatings. Probably not gonna hold up excellent, but we'll see. Let's give you some quick size comparisons. Here's another Schwartz CRKT design. And why is this one? The Caligo. He likes some pivot college, I like that. So as you can see, it's pretty dwarfed by the Caligo and his is the LCK by CRKT and Ruger. As you can see, it's much closer in length to the uh, L what is it? The LCK. So there you go. We'll talk more about it in the full review. But so far, pretty cool knife. Oh, wait, one more thing I want to check. Let's see how much this one weighs. Two more things actually. 3.15, let's see what the original weighs. 2.87. Alrighty, that's definitely a fine weight for me. Let's see how they ground this. Being that the regular torrent was is really thick behind the edge. Let's see what this full flat grind on this one, if it's any better. Let's see, I'm trying to get it right at the bottom of the edge. 
25,000. So, no, nope, that's about the same. I, I'm pretty sure that's a bummer, but we'll see how it performs. All right, the next one is the Richard Roger Montosa. I think that's how you say it. I'm not the best. English person. There you go. I love this this knife right here. I thought this thing looked beautiful. I love a lot of his designs. I can't remember what model this is modeled after. But you have some slightly, it looks like, let's see, hold on. Yeah, slightly contoured G10. You got these milled lines in there. They, I guess it could add a little bit of traction if your finger's getting in there. You got Purple anodized aluminum pivot collar. I'm sure that's aluminum. You have a purple aluminum backspacer with the lanyard loop in there. Um, I forgot to mention this is tip up right hand only. This one's tip up left or right hand only. So they were thinking about the lefties here. You have a deep carry clip on this one. And as you can see, they did a great job by countersinking those clip screws. Uh, this one... Besides the aesthetics, I, I like that it's a, a finger a thumb opener, thumb stud opener. Let's see what the action's like. Wait, before we do that, he is riding on Teflon. Ooh, nice action. Mine, my particular sample came nice out of the box. Um, let's see. This is a 8CR14 MOV as well. Not my favorite steel in the world. Um... Comes in $50. I guess I could kind of see that with uh, the anodized aluminum and the contoured and milled scales. And you're paying for that collaboration with that custom maker. So I, I guess. <clears throat> um, let's see what else. This is a 7.6 inch knife. 3.2 inch blade. So... Kind of screwed some people to have a three inch blade law um, and a 4.45 inch handle. Let's see, get you a closer look at that. That is a bead blast blade. I'm not, this one might not corrode like this is that, like, um, you know, where it's kind of grippy, kind of like almost like the blasted frames of a Sabenza, but. Here in the south, these don't usually hold up that well. I'm not loving that. I might have to stonewash that blade. Just think the aesthetics on this one's amazing. And very lightweight for its size. Um, and they did that by, this is just a G10 scale on this side. And let's see if I, you can see there, you have an inset liner for the liner lock on the, the lock side. There's your lock up, about 50%. Easy access because this tab has jumping in. It sits proud of the show side scale. Easy access to that. You can slow roll it. See the detent. Yeah, detent's not super strong, but it, I could fling it out if I really wanted to. Uh, pretty good blade to hand ratio. Let's see. The black's messing with me. It appears to be centered. My eyes are, uh, let's see. It might be off to the left a little bit. But that's okay with me. I can fix that, I'm sure. So there you go. This Let's get some size comparisons. Got a uh, Kershaw Blur. That's about almost identical in size. The Blur might be a Add a bit longer and the medium size honey badger there you go so like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna do a much more in-depth uh, video but I, I, I must say well before before I talk about that let's get uh, a weight on this guy and we'll check the behind the edge thickness just to see 3.16 ounce see that it's nice and lightweight it's uh, less than an ounce an inch for those people who are all stuck on that. And let's see. It's hard to do this behind camera. Point two one. 
So not bad. I can I can handle that. Um, like I said, I'll be more in depth, but here's just a, a quick look at them. Just got them in today. Um, they had a lot of other ones that I really wanted. I, I kind of like the Overland. That's another TJ Schwartz design. This the carbon fiber sketch, but that was uh, um, that was a exclusive to Blade HQ, and it went pretty quick. I also like the Piet, the Vox design. And there was another Burnley design that I liked, uh, G10, green G10, and Blackwash Blade. I can't remember the name of it, but that was another one I wanted. But uh, something I've noticed is that CRKT works with a lot of awesome makers. I wish they would kind of step up their game as far as QC goes and kind of give us good bang for your buck. Kind of like Civivi does, you know. Give us... A quality product you're not doing these designs any justice if not and they work with Matthew Lurch uh, TJ Schwartz Eric Oaks Burnley Brian Ty Vox RMJ Flavio Coma Joe Caswell Alan Foltz and Richard Rogers and there's probably more than that but those are the ones that they've been doing a lot of collaboration designs with and uh, they're some of the best in the business I mean, I know some of my favorites are in that list. So <clears throat> hopefully that we'll see them, you know, increasing their uh, their strive for greatness. But I don't know whether to see how these go. And I'll be interested to see what other, other people think. Uh, the prices I did, I did think were kind of high on some of these blades. I can kind of see them justified on the collaborations, some of them. Um, and I'll have to see after using these if I think they they warrant the price tag. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification when you're done with that. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up so I know you're enjoying my content. And I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And I'm going to watch the LSU Tigers play the Clemson Tigers. And my LSU Tigers are going to come out victorious. Peace.